Right. Let's do this. Oops. What is the game? There we go. It should work now. Right. Please spam if you can hear me, and we will get the show on the road. Right. Super, super windy here today at the moment. Insanely windy. Can you hear me all fine? Yes. I'm good, General JK, dude, man. Accelerator. Yeah, Arsenal shirt again, unfortunately. Don't know why I keep wearing this. I normally do terrible when I wear it, so, yeah. You can hear me. Good stuff. Right, we are here for round four. Yeah, I think it's round four of RLCIS. Uh, last race we did, which uploaded on YouTube, was a ridiculously intense race, uh, which was very, very fun. Uh, came P2 in the end, so I didn't get a penalty for the pit lane or anything at all. So I'll be able to show the standings here now. Uh, where is it? Where is it? So yeah, here's the standings for the league right now. So you can see I'm in P9. I missed round one. Uh, was winning at Spa. Well, was in second, but I think we could have had a good chance of a win. And then we crashed at Spa. And yeah, we managed to take P2 last time at Zanfort. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. This race here is actually very different. This is a sprint qualifying format. Uh, which you might have seen me do before in BRS when we did that at Brazil. Uh, so basically, we're going to have two races here today. Uh, the first 25% is going to be reverse championship order. So I'll be starting in P12. Start on any tire you wish. And then top three get points. But the results from that race then decides the grid for the 50%. Which you can again start on any tire you wish. So... um yeah, I really, really like this format. I really liked it in BRS. Uh, it worked well for me in BRS where we managed to win the 50%. So with these drivers here, mostly Russian guys. Uh, so I think it's, if we look at the standings again. So it's uh, Vadim, who is a championship leader. And who is the guy in second? Uh, where is he? There's another guy in the Alpine. So where is he? I'm not sure who the guy in second is or where he is at the moment, but yeah, that's the championship standings. So got a bit of work to do. Uh, the six, seven rounds left to go, including this one. So yeah, really enjoying this league. It's very, very competitive. Got quite a few ex F1 Esports Challenger drivers in here, such as I believe Adin, Andre, uh, Napadoski, uh, people such as that. So yeah, Canada. Managed to take P2 recently in BRS. Uh, so yeah, it's a good track for me. So yeah, there's no qualifying. 25% reverse championship order. Top three get points. And then that's a good for the 50. So no qualifying um, at all. However, one thing I will say on PC is that the track limits. And I know a lot of people have said this before. But the track limits are so much stricter on PC. It's crazy. Like in Xbox, I never, I didn't even get a warning around here in the 50 percent uh every practice i've done here i've got a penalty like in the first eight laps or something so yeah track limits it's i think that's one of the hardest things for me to get used to between console and pc pc track limits are just so so strict it's insane how strict it is but yeah oh fedot oh it's fedot is it so yeah this guy yeah it must be this guy yeah this guy is second in the championship so i think he's just been ultra consistent uh, Vadim's got a bit of a championship lead. But, yep. Yeah, we'll see how we go. What video was down the inside from? Uh, that was from... TSRL... Well, yeah. TSRL Canada, but in 2020, I think. I'm going to say 2020. Yeah. But that was a pretty insane race. Yeah, Ben Sabo is in here. So, yeah, this man uh, was reserved... Uh, F1 esports driver for Ferrari last year. So he was part of the Ferrari Academy and he was a reserve driver. Um, he's very, very fast. So 
Um, he won't be starting on pole. Um, he actually will be starting at the back of the grid. Um, that's a rule they have in this league that anyone who's new uh, with this format has to start at the back. Otherwise, if someone rapid came in, it'd be uh, pretty unfair for them to be on pole because they're just going to take an easy win and then they'll be on pole for the 50 as well. So thank you, Raj, for the 19. Thank you, bro. So yeah, both races today. Yes. And thank you for everyone joining so far. Make sure you check out the official RRL stream. Um, which I put in the description. But yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to this format. So we'll see how it goes. Yo, JD here, Tyrol All right. Don't know who we're waiting for. I don't think there's many people to wait for now. And yet, so no qualifying, just a 25% uh, reverse championship and then a 50% depending on where we finish in that. Why Doherty? That's my name, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I think most people on PC use their names and yeah, just thought I might start using my name as well. Just feels a bit out of place. Well, there's a couple guys down here who are, unless these are their names, but yeah. Well, RB46, I know that's not his name. But, yeah. Yeah, quite enjoying playing on PC at the moment. I really like uh, that there's, there's no wheel delay. Uh, I'm still doing that video. Uh, where I record the camera behind me, where you can really, between the platforms, there is, there's quite a big difference in feeling between the platforms, in my opinion. It's, um, there, there's good and bad from each platform, to be honest. Yeah, wheels in the description, everything as well. And yeah, so we had quite an intense race last time see what we could do this time so hopefully for the championship if we can have some strong results here then i think all right we're getting ready to go now all right let's go thank you farhan thanks man still haven't won a league i uh, still haven't won a pc league race yet so um i'm still searching for that i keep getting very very close but something keeps happening all the time Oh, yeah, thank you for joining. Right, let's go. Safety car, safety car's off. Okay. Yeah, yes, you can, Jamie. You can start on uh, any tires. Have you practiced for this? Yes. Um, a lot of my YouTube members helped me practice for that, so really appreciate their help uh, practice for a good half an hour hour maybe before this just for a bit so thank you marco thanks man so yeah you can start on any tire for any of these races so yeah God, we're starting already. Okay. All right, let's see what's happening here. Some people's themselves. All right. Good luck. Damage is on. Yes. All right, let's go. If anyone else joins, please let them know it's a reverse championship order for this first race and then 50% uh, race after this. Get the car up to temperature on this lap. Guys, are We're learning the gears, so go through them all if you can.
Conditions look stable at the moment. No rain currently expected. Dry seem like the fastest tire at the moment. They're on fresh mediums. They're in 20th. Teammates at the back. Ah, oh, Ben Sabo is my teammate. Do this. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Hopefully, that guy is still here. The start sequence will begin. Oh, this guy is going to give us cold tires. He's not here. Oh, they're going to. Oh, This guy is lagging so much. This guy needs to leave, man. Fuck, man. The sky needs to leave ahead, man. It just turns in like you're not even there, man. condition for now everything's looking good DRS is now available.
green flag. Green flag, we're racing again. Nice move. You're losing a small amount of time to the car behind. Keep pushing. Strategy is available on the MFD. Got that confirmed. Radar is clear. Weather is looking good for now. Dry seem like the best tire for now. You're catching the car ahead. leading our teammate by 17.8 seconds.
okay, we can take you this lad. Stop, no more scheduled pit stops. You've moved up into P12, P12 now. the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up.
speed gap to the car behind is 1.0 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Their tires are three laps old. The time last lap was a 1.10.4. The teammate behind is 4.6 seconds. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Keep managing your tires, manage your tires. Three laps of fuel remaining.
final lap of the race. Two olds. Hey Jeff, thanks for your work this weekend. Well done. <sighs> he just got through the traffic way too easily. Right. Good points. Yeah, only top three good points, so P2 for 50%. Nice. Uh, Andre seems to be my nemesis. I just can't seem to. Uh, well, I beat him last race anyway, but. Uh, where did Vadim come? Championship leader came P8. Interesting. Alright. I had two warnings I had to deal with, so. Yeah, I had one. Yeah, I had a warning from. Two warnings from lap 12. Why did I pay it? Pay lap 9. And two lap prototypes. Yeah, if he hadn't got through that pack so easily, then yeah, it could have been a bit weird. But all good. So, yeah, now we got the 50% uh, race. So, I think it's going to be like a 10 minute gap, apparently. So. Can chill out just for a little bit. Still hunting for this first PC League win. Always keep getting denied. So freaking annoying. Thanks, Marco. So yeah, P2 is a good place to start. So I think uh, the winner gets three points, and then the yeah, second gets two, third gets one. So yeah, this was the championship before coming in. So. Yeah. So I haven't really gained that many points here, but we're in a good position for the 50% uh, race. Yeah, set up good. It's just, um, if you have pressure tyres, it's uh, quite nice to have front here. So, Vadim is P8. So that's not good for him, particularly. He had a penalty as well. Uh, where's that? Favorite guy, where is he? Oh, Fedot is P9. Okay. Yeah, Ben Sabo, he went for a very early undercut, but yeah, it doesn't really work out that well normally around here, so. That guy was lagging so badly at the start. I don't know who it was. It was. Who was it? I don't know who it was. I forgot who it was. Guy was lagging so badly at the start. Yep, race is in 10 minutes. So they're just having a 10 minute break just so they can do any stewards reports to change the grid. Otherwise, we are good to go, I think. So yeah, if you want to ask me anything, the time is now. So yeah, just go wait for five, 10 minutes until they uh, sort out the grid for the next one. Yeah, I need to change the shirt. I think this was what it is. I just can't win in this Arsenal shirt. I either need to change shirt or change club. But yeah, 50% to come now. Yeah, but track limits are just insane. Around, um, on PC especially, they're just crazy, crazy hard, man. Crazy hard.
So yeah, got a 50% to go now. So lining up on the front row, so not too bad at all. Andre was fast though, he had a good pace. But I think with the same tires, we could have re-overtook him maybe at the end. Yeah, new Mercedes livery looks uh, really, really good. Really, really good. Change shirt. <laughs> Both because Arsenal bin bags. <laughs> I haven't actually ever bought a uh, Formula One like team shirt or anything. I've never. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a like a massive hardcore fan of any team in particular. I just whoever, whatever driver's personality I like, I seem to support them. Um, or whoever's doing well and stuff, really, to be honest. So, yeah, the Merc livery is nice. It's much, much nicer than uh, last year. But I think these cars, the pretty much even the ha the Haas looks good. Or the Haas, if you want to call it that. Yeah, but I don't have any um, actual Formula One shirts or anything at all. Like nothing at all. Yeah, I don't know what the strategy will be for this, because uh, safety car is now back on, so... Hmm. Yeah, it depends. I'll see what tyres people are starting on first, and then we can uh, take it from there. But, yeah. Did it need to go all out for that win and give it, get that penalty at the end to try and close in close enough? Yeah, there was just no, no point in that. Yeah, I like the um, yeah, I like the uh, Ferrari livery. I, I more like the shape. The shape of Ferrari, I think, looks really, really good. The Ferrari looks um, aesthetically pleasing. Let's put it that way. Thank you, General Jake, for the donation, my friend. Thanks, man. This guy does the commentary for BRS. Very, very good commentator. So make sure you check him out as well. So yeah, race should be starting. Hopefully very soon. Fingers crossed. <sighs> but yeah, it doesn't really matter so much that Vadim didn't get a good result there. Because uh, only the top three got points anyway. So. Best livery of the year for you. Uh, yeah, I'd say maybe Ferrari. Ferrari or Mercedes, I guess. But Red Bull always looks the same. But I think the Red Bull always looks nice anyway. But... But yeah, a lot of people have, um, quite a few of the teams seem to have gone very different directions. So I think we're going to see a big difference between speed on some teams. So it's all about who got it right. And they won't find out until yeah, Bahrain, isn't it? Bahrain's the first race, which is not about a month away now. I think it's a month away or something. Yeah, the Ferrari South, South Postal Girl Rouge. <laughs> yeah, soft medium, soft is a good strategy around here. Uh, it depends. It depends if they're safety cars and stuff like that as well. So, yeah, it really depends on that, to be honest. But, yeah, 50% of these track limits is going to be tough. It's going to be uh, pretty difficult, I think. I have visited Belgium before. The only place I've been to in Belgium is uh, Gink. My theory is that Ferrari is optimised for driving in dirty air. <laughs> Have we got such a good ping of Russians? Uh, my internet is very good. So really, really good. Thank you, Jenny Rajek again. Love watching you smash BRS. So yeah, I think safety car is on now. Yeah. Oh, it's still off. I need to turn it on, I think. I'll double check before we get going again. I have been to Genk before. I've raced at Genk, so yeah, it's a place I've been. Yeah, I think the strategy I just did that race there was pretty good. Um, otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a risk of... Uh, yeah, it's just Andre just managed to get through so easily. <laughs> so quickly. If he hadn't got through so quickly, um, I think you could have done it. But, yeah. S Fitness. Yo, good luck. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, bro.
bar own race at 3 p.m. Is it? Is it 3 p.m.? Nice. Favorite driver? Uh, I don't really have a favorite driver. Um, probably people like the Claire, Signs, Snappen. Uh, so that's two Ferrari people, isn't it? <laughs> um, who else? Trying to think who else. Ricardo. Uh, Ricardo. Yo, JD here, uh, Yeah, I'm not really. I don't, I don't really like idolize anyone on the grid. I think there's just. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of changes all the time, to be honest. Favorite track? Uh, probably always Silverstone. I always like that track. Uh, Zambor, I really like as well. Singapore, I really like that track. Suzuka. Tracks that have a really, really fast flow. I quite like. I like. I actually like France as well. France, I actually really enjoy that track. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not. Yeah, not. I'm not a massive fan of Hamilton. Um, yeah, I won't get into that really. But yeah, driving wise, he is just insane. I think um, there's no doubt about that. I'm just not a fan of his just him personally really to be honest but that's just me like i know a lot of people say oh because they're the same countries you should support them i don't think that's really should be the case but support whoever you want at the end of the day as a driver i think he doesn't really have to prove himself i think even though he's had a great car for many many years i think he's um yeah he's still like i think the top five of all time probably so yeah it's uh no matter how good the car is, you've got to still do something, at least. Yeah, I love France. That Zach guy. Yeah, that Zach guy was lagging so badly. Is he even in here still? Yeah, he is. He was lagging so badly. Hopefully we get underway soon. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I like Stoffel Vendel. I liked him when he was driving as well. I think he was uh, I think it was pretty difficult for him. He was against Alonso. I think he's one of the best drivers on the grid. So I don't think he had it uh, particularly easy. Shumi or Hamilton? Uh, Schumacher. Yeah, definitely Schumacher. I was a really, really big fan of him. Yeah, Vettel. Uh, yeah, I love Vettel as well. Um, but I wouldn't put him in the top five drivers of all time, though. No. Um, maybe not even top 10. I'd say definitely in the top 20 or 15, probably. But yeah, it's... Um, yeah, when people say top five, as much as I love the guy, I, I don't think he's in the top five all time, though. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you. Who are people's favourite drivers? Who do you think is actually going to win this season in the drivers and constructors? Please spam that as well. Yeah, I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be Mercedes. Um, both, to be honest. I think it's going to be Hamilton and uh, yeah, the Mercedes team. Hate to say it. I think they always, when the regulations come out, they always get a big, big gap. Um, so yeah, I think I think Mercedes for both. Which driver would you most like to meet? Uh, I've already met him, uh, Charles Leclerc, probably. <laughs> so I've met him already. Um, that was pretty amazing. I raced against him as well, which is awesome. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, like Schumacher, some of that probably. I'm pretty on for Sapin's aggression. Uh, I think he's gone a lot better. Um, but at the end of the day, I think you need to be ruthless at times. Um, he was a lot more reckless in the past. Um, but now I think it's not so much reckless. He's uh, very, very aggressive at times, but just about on the limit. Sometimes maybe a bit over the limit. But um, yeah, I think he's very, very confident driver in himself. So 
So yeah, I think Mercedes. I think Mercedes and uh, yeah, Mercedes and Hamilton. I think will take it. Big is yeah, if Ferrari have got it right with their uh, side pod design and everything designed, then yeah, I think Carlos Sainz is so underrated. Um, I think in pure pace, obviously Leclerc's probably faster, but he just drives so well, so consistently all the time. So put him in a championship winning car. I think it's going to be quite hard to beat most of the time. Oops. Hi, Goran. How's it going, man? Yeah, that race with the club where I raced him at Brazil and Germany, I think that was, uh, yeah, probably the two best races in terms of an experience I've had on an F1 game. They were awesome. They were really, really cool. But yeah. Yeah, Carlos is definitely one of the best on the grid, yep. Yep. Uh, no, I wouldn't say Alonso's top three of all time. I wouldn't say so. No. It's really, really hard. It's really hard to say because it's just different eras and stuff. I think people like Prost, uh, Fangio, Senna, Schumacher, Hamilton. I'd say that's probably a good case for top five, maybe. I would say so. Um, Verstappen could definitely get there in the future, but obviously he's got many, many more years to come. So, um, yeah, I'd say that's probably a good case top five. There's someone else who I was thinking of as well. Is it not James Stewart? Is James Stewart? No? I forgot who it was. There's someone who I forgot, who everyone forgets. <laughs> it's not a stain, it's an Arsenal badge. Yep. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Jim Clark, yes, that's it. Jim Clark. Exactly that, Jorgen. Yep. It's, uh, yeah, Jim Clark, I think it's got a good shout for that as well. I think a lot of people forget about him. Um, I think that's a good case for a top six. A Prost, I think, is could arguably be number one, um, potentially, but... Nicky Lauda is in there as well. Yep. Fangio, Senna, Schumacher, Prost, Clark. Yep. Yep. I think it's quite fair. Yep. I think it's Jim Clark, isn't it? Yeah. Where would you rate Lauda? Uh, I don't really know. I'm not an expert on the history and stuff. Um, not a massive, massive expert, so... I don't really know. I haven't really watched enough of uh, Lauda to judge it. Jim Clark is the best driver. He's never won a world championship. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. Come on, come on, come on. There might have been a few uh, stewards' inquiries. That's why we're waiting a little bit first. James Hunt, Jules Villeneuve. Yep. Jackie Stewart. Yeah, there's loads of people. It's so hard to compare, though. Um, where would people put Hamilton? I think a lot of people... The thing is, like, back in the day, other people had, like, better cars than other people as well, so... I don't know. But were they as a dominant for so long in those cars? That's the question. Um, yeah, I think the issue sometimes people have is that when you only really have to beat your teammate or one other person in the grid, it's just a three-man championship, pretty much. But, yeah, where would you put Hamilton in the list? Where would you put him? I'd say third, fourth, or fifth, something like that, maybe in, in that range. I'd say. Well, I think we need to see a lot more George Russell first. Obviously, that's going to be interesting as well this season. So, all right, I think we're starting. All right, let's go. Nelson Piquet. Yep. Bottom of top 10. All right, here we go. Yeah, end of the day, like someone said then, um, the best drivers normally get the best seats. And you need a good car to win the championship. You, yeah, it's obviously the case, but it just depends on like how OP that car is, I guess, maybe. But... 
Right, here we go. Yeah, I say it's a good case for our top three for Hamilton. Luke Bailey, how's it going, bro? Right. Let's do this. Thank you, Saga. Thanks, man. Never really seen the Andretti team or Formula B. Don't really know too much about that. Didn't know you're English. Hamilton hates her. You're English. That's embarrassing. You don't have to support a driver just because they're in the same country as you. I think people need to get over that. As a driver, I think he's insane. But, yeah, you don't need to support that. It's whoever you like. Right. Yeah, let's keep it on this. It's fine. Oops, loading this up as well. God, I'm not waiting that long. Alright, let's do this. Thank you, Luke Bailey. Thanks, Jorgen. I think safety car's on. Oh, I don't have time to check. Actually, I might do. Oops. I, I imagine it'll be on, probably. Yeah, you can cheer for whoever you want. It's a free world. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, how was the pull away? You'll have a bit more grip than that on the start, but we need to warm the tyres properly now. Make sure you get some heat into the brakes as well. All right. Let's go. Radar is clear. Weather is looking good for now. Dry seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. Fucking hell, man. What's he fucking doing? What is he fucking doing? Now my tyres are going to be so fucking cold. You need to get a penalty for that, man. What the fuck is he doing? If people are doing that intentionally, they just need to get a life, man. Because now my tyres are going to be so shit at the start of the race. People do that intentionally, man. It's so pathetic. <sighs> Why are you doing that? It's a formation lap, man. you got 35 laps to go in the race. You're just screwing yourself over as well. I don't know what the point is. I don't know what the idea is completely. <sighs> like, what's he doing? He's going flat out. Into, unless his brake or throttle's failed or something. Tires are going to be so cold now. Good. And now they're going to be even worse. Yeah, they're going to be absolute ice now. Good. They're literally going to be in, yeah. Well, actually, this is a good thing because everyone's tired to get be cold now. So, might level that out a bit. Oh, Andre's left. Sure. Yeah, see that his tires were cold as well.
Yeah, see how cold his tyres were? Is he back? I love how, because our tyres are so cold, his AI was still faster than ours. something really weird going on, I think. I don't know if that's even him driving. I didn't see, even see him join back. is now enabled.
check your MFD for a new strategy option. Confirmed. No threat of rain for the time being. Conditions looking good. Dry seem like the best tire for now.
approaching the pit window, you'll be on the softs. Box this lap, push hard on the in lap. We think you're going to start losing some tire grip around now. Come in at the end of this lap. Exit, exit now. We'll be doing one more 
stop today. One stop left in our strategy. Why is he on? What's he on mediums? Maneuver, you made it look easy. to car in front is 3.3 seconds. a new fastest lap of the race.
taking care of them. Strategy is available on the MFD. Approaching the pit window, you'll be on the softs. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. We want to pit this lap, so push now. No rain expected. No rain expected for the time being. Dry seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. Conditions look stable at the moment. No rain currently expected. Dry seem like the best tyre for now.
stay with him, he might make a mistake. He could still regain the position. Radar is clear. Weather is looking good for now. Dry seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. flag. Go, go now. To these tires now, we want to finish the race on this compound. No threat of rain for the time being, conditions looking good. Dry seem like the best tire for now. So, you know, we're getting some strange readings from a couple of the sensors. I don't think you need to be worried. It's just some bad data, so keep doing what you're doing, and I'll let you know if we notice any genuine problems. What does that mean? What's that mean? No rain expected. No rain expected for the time being. Dry seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. What the fuck, man? How can you still hit me going into the pits? Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Gap ahead is 4.6 seconds. They're on old softs. Their tires are nine laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 11.6.
five laps of fuel remaining. Lost some time to the car behind. Three laps of fuel remaining. Okay, we've lost a position. That's us down the place. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Okay, clear.
kick at the ass. Fucking hell, man. What a fucking joke. What's going on? Look at the Delta. As if... I don't know where he's finished. Where's he even finished? <sighs> it really pisses me off when there's a lap car and you can see there's people coming for a battle. Just get out of the way. He's probably finished out of me on track, isn't he? I don't even know. I don't even know where he's finished. Has he actually finished there? And I don't know how he didn't get a penalty when he cut the final chicane. I don't know how on earth he did get a penalty. Where was that? There was a lap where he literally went completely off across the final chicane. How is he that not a penalty? Did I win? I don't know if I won. I'll have to check. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. What do I have to do to win on PC, man? If it wasn't for that lapped car, we would have got him on that final straight. I don't think I won. Yeah, I'll have to check that chicane. I don't know how that's not a penalty. Fuck. Yeah, without that lapped car, I think we could have had it then. Uh, <sighs> GG, he's probably won anyway, so GG, man. Literally, yeah, I didn't make a single... Did I get one warning? I just wish lap cars get out of the way. Giving people DRS, man. Like, it's, it's obvious that there's a lap... You're getting a blue flag. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Andre at the start, but how much of his AI was driving. No idea, but GG if he's won anyway. <sighs> GG, man. Yeah, I don't know if my teammate cost me. I don't think he cost me too badly, but... Yep. Just so annoying, man. I want to win on PC so badly. Drove a really good race, but yeah, Andre, he seems to be... Every race I do, we always seem to be on the same part of the track all the time. So, GG to him if he's won. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. Uh, we'll be back for BRS uh, Jeddah next Saturday. And I'm not sure what it is for IRL. I'll have to... Uh, I have a quick look at you. You went motor racing, JD. <laughs> yep. Thing is, I'm really annoyed at the time, but 10 minutes later, I always chill out, but it's bloody annoying, though, man. Uh, what's, what's the kind of. It's. We got Japan next. Yo, JD here, Tiro Liveth. So, Japan's next. Nice, nice, nice. Well, good points. Another P2, I think that's going to be, probably. So, um,. I'll have a look into that final chicane and stuff though, because that's, yeah. We could have broke the DRS maybe. If we had a three second gap, well, if you had a three second penalty, I think that would have been a, yeah, but we'll look into that. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, videos will be coming out tomorrow, Wednesday and stuff as well. So yep.
Thank you so much. Catch you soon. Peace. You call